Hello. In this video, I will show you the inner anatomy of a Divesoft Liberty head. In the head, we have five different components. We have the batteries, the pressure sensors, the helium sensors, the solenoid compartment, and the oxygen cell housing, which houses four oxygen cells. Now we're going to take it apart and show each part separately. First, we have the battery. It is a simple lithium ion battery with a blowout valve right here. So if anything happens to your battery, it will exit through this hole and be blown out into the water. Next, we have the pressure sensor. Inside is a low and high pressure sensor, meaning it will measure your depth on the surface at atmospheric pressure and when you're in depth in water. Next, we have the housing for oxygen sensors. There are four oxygen sensors inside and right here we have inlets for helium sensors. And finally, we have our helium sensors. Please do not disassemble those. There's a membrane under here with a pathing for air inside. But if you disassemble it, there's a chance you might somehow damage the membrane and that will hinder the functionality of the sensor. Finally, we have the solenoids right here. They are composed of a coil, which is connected to your head, which operates the coil, opening and closing the solenoid when needed. Right here are duckbill valves. They prevent water from getting inside the solenoids, which may cause rust and hinder their function. And finally, we have an oxygen inlet. This is the oxygen benjo, which allows oxygen to flow to both solenoids, supplying them with oxygen. These solenoids are connected through a bridge, and therefore we only have one inlet, we don't need two. Starting here, we have the solenoid coils. They are connected to your control unit, and they initiate the solenoid body right here. In the solenoid body, this is the piston, and this is the solenoid itself. Solenoid is right here, and it pops up and down according if there is current in the loop in the coil, which will cause it to open or close depending on the situation and the oxygen levels in your loop. Right here are the duckbill valves. You can see that they are one of a valves, and go through here and out, but not inside. This is to prevent moist air or water from getting inside and corroding the insides of the solenoid. These are the coil caps, which only hold everything together. And here are the solenoid bodies. This is where the, where the pressurized oxygen is and where it's dispensed into the unit. Please do not disassemble the units at all. You will damage them if any sort of dust or debris gets inside. They will not function properly and they will cause oxygen to get into your loop uncontrollably and that may cause oxygen poisoning. Please do not disassemble once again. So this is the head of the rebreather with all the components taken off. Now we will open the head. Please don't open the head. It is dry sealed. And if you open it and you will break the seal on one of the screws, you will void the warranty. But right now, we will take a look inside. We'll pry it open to look at the innards. So removing the head, you will see the connection to the handset right here and the head-up display. Then you will have the control unit itself. It's our own proprietary board. We made them ourselves. And below that, right here, are the connectors to the insides, meaning to the batteries, to the oxygen sensors, to the helium sensors, and to the pressure sensors, as well as the solenoid control. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any further questions, please consult the user manual 
or send us a question through email or through Facebook.